she's back to vlogging. It is Wednesday. Well, you will see this Thursday. This is a day in the life. So welcome back to Reality D. Yeah, it is nine o'clock. I'm having slow mornings. Do you like that when you come back from vacation? Slower mornings. I just showered, skinned. I will tell you a few tips about, I went and got a, uh, I talked to the, the aesthetic lady, anesthetician. So I got a few tips about skincare that we can talk about. And we need to make breakfast though because it's nine o'clock and I don't normally eat this late. I'm normally eating about 8.15, 8.30, but slow getting up and taking care of Bailey. He's doing much better today so far. He's more peppier, he's more like himself. So I think we have might have turned a corner. Do I see him drinking out of his bowl? No, Steve did mention, he goes, how often do you really see him drinking out of his bowl? I'm like, true story, I really don't. Um, but I know he's drinking because I'm giving him fluids in his food. So I know he's getting enough because he certainly peed enough this morning. And it wasn't real dark, so I'm like, he's hydrated. Because you could tell, like, I've seen him sometimes where it's a little bit darker. Yes, I stare at his stream, I know. But it was pretty good today. So we're going to make a pancake in the mini dash rice cooker because my girl Renee was making one for dinner and I thought about it all night. And I'm thinking, yeah, that's what's for breakfast this morning, some Kodiak. So let me go get the stuff and let's get cooking because your girl's got to eat. We're back. Have my Kodiak Frontier Flapjack Waffle Mix and Buttermilk and Honey. I use a third cup. I know the serving says half cup. I was telling this to Renee last night. I find half is a lot. I, I feel, I don't want to feel like what well, I'm, you know, done eating. The third cup hits the spot for me, but if it's not enough for you, then, I mean, third, yeah, third hits the spot. But I also do put an egg or an egg white, and I do put um, nut milk, so not just water. So that can make the difference as well. I don't know, but that's how I've been making them for years now, so. I feel like I came up with that too. Yep, I feel like I, I started subbing the, you know, nut milks. I figured like I didn't have any points. But you know what, it gives it a nice little nutty flavor. I like it. So we're just gonna measure our batter. Yep, in our bowl. So I'll bring you down to see the rest because you wanna see it, right? <laughs> okay. My little dish with D board for my girl, Wendy. The third cup. I'm using the coconut, al um, ca no, coconut almond blend from Blue Diamond is Almond Breeze, unsweetened. It's really good, it's different. You know, you get, you know, I feel like you get a little bit of a rut and you just want something different and that gives you the perfect balance. Crack an egg. And remember, adding the egg, it is you don't want the shell. <laughs> Adding the egg amps up the protein a little bit as well. Let's see, my little whiskey, my little whiskey. I'm gonna throw a little dash of vanilla extract. You don't have to, it's perfectly tasty, but you know. I'm feeling vanilla this morning, maybe because I was on a cruise where everything tasted fantastic. And a dash of, I've been enjoying this Saigon cinnamon. I got it at, I think Sam's, Wellesley. I think that's, is Wellesley Sam's? I think Wellesley's Sam's. We see the Sam's are BJ's, so. Yes, yeah, Saigon, a little bit different. And of course it got melted by being too close to the stove. So yeah, just saying, and you do not have to heat up your mini dash before you, like some things you have to preheat like the waffle maker. The dash does not preheat, not sure why, but it does it. <laughs> so now you could probably have mixed it in a little container, but I don't want any pancake on the side that's not gonna get eaten. And you just mix. Now, I always find, I say this a lot of times in my videos, sometimes the batter appears thin. I always say, let it sit a few minutes because I feel like it, it, it thickens as it sits. So. You could put any mix. You could put like peanut butter powder in here. You don't want to over mix it. Just make sure all the lumps are gone. All right. Put that there. Going to grab our little Miss Miss Dash. And you all really enjoyed the video I did for the um, five days of breakfast in here. I figured we have these little things. Why not find different ways to use them so we'll get more use out of them? And somebody said, I have to dust mine off. So that was a great feeling to know that I helped her dust her mini dash off. Yep. So just plug it in. Oh, they turn on. There we go. It goes that way. Okay. Now, I, of course, spray mine. I don't think you have to. It is a non-stick spray. I mean, non-stick interior, but 
Oh my god, I feel like it's not gonna hurt. This isn't like one of my expensive pans. And I need a spatula. A spatula. Okay. Spatula in hand. Give it one more quick whisk. You see, you can see it's thickened. Just have it sit there those few minutes. So that egg is incorporated. And then we just pour it in. Get out every bit of that because, you know, it doesn't need to go in the garbage, it needs to go in your tummy. <laughs> I believe this is three Weight Watcher points and I think three and a half um, points on healthy, which is funny. They give half points. I think that that's funny. I'm going to dust it. Oops, sorry. With a little bit of cinnamon cr crunch dust. A quarter teaspoon is zero points. So we're just, and I'm measuring. I do measure this, contrary to popular opinion. <laughs> but it kind of, and I'm telling you, this is a quarter. You'd be surprised how you would think that's a lot. It does like like I'm, I, that's plenty for me, but since we, but yeah, it's really more than you think because it's so fine. So all right, lid on, engage. Sometimes you need to do it two cycles. Put you up. Sometimes you need to do it two cycles, and we had this discussion on the video. Sometimes the cycles don't go right away because it's hot. That's annoying because even in the recipe book it'll say do for two cycles. Well, it's not working, so I don't know. So what I do is I unplug it, kind of wave it a bit in the air and cool it down, maybe put it in the freezer. I actually stuck it outside because it was cold. Worked like a charm. So we're gonna let this cook it. And somebody asked how long a cycle is. It depends on what's in there because of the weight. This cycle will probably be 10 minutes, if that. So the heavier the, the contents, the longer the cycle if that helps. It's kind of like the Instant Pot. When you put more fluid in, it takes longer to come up to pressure before it cooks. Same thing with this. It has like a, an idea of what it weighs. At least that's my, that's my answer for that. Ooh, it's crackling. All right, we're gonna clean this up and we'll have a, we'll go see if Bailey's awake. Maybe we'll see. He's probably sleeping because when I give him his antibiotic, he kind of makes him tired, which is fine. Um, so I don't know if we'll get to see him yet, but uh, we'll chat about the, um, the skincare lady. All right, we'll sit here. I was going to sit on the couch, but it was too glary. Nothing worse than watching glary sun in the background. Just saying. Um, okay, the skincare lady. You should use a gentle exfoliator several times a week, at least three. And I, I, don't, I maybe do it once a week, but she said more than once a week. Okay, we do that. She said, milk, cleanse your skin, make, get, a good, get, a good, get a good face cleanser. I usually buy when I'm at like craft fairs or I always buy like the freshly made soaps with the goat's milk and all that. I just use that for my face. So I use that, I cleanse, then I exfoliate with a gentle exfoliator, which I've been doing, but not as often. And then she said, after you, you do your toner and then you do your eye cream serum then your moisturizer moisturizer holds everything in so okay that's what we're doing um so yeah oh she did this really deep penetrating thing it felt like ice and little tingly things so it felt really good so i mean i didn't get the back and neck i mean i usually get a neck and shoulder massage and maybe massage arms i didn't get that i'm a little bit disappointed in that but the facial itself was fine and she said you should definitely use once a week a mask Mask once a week, exfoliates two to three times a week, and then you do your eye cream, toner, no, you do your toner, eye cream, serum, moisturizer. I know. Moisture, she says, and, and if, they also recommend if you can get a moisturizer that has SPF or do face sunscreen. Like if you're a person, you know, they sell sunscreen just for face with a high SPF. You should do that on top of that. If You know, she says, even if you don't go out, honestly, I'm in the house. I'm not going to, you know, get any rays in here. But if I'm going out into like the yard or I'm spending time outside, then I would definitely um, 
invest in a SPF sunblock for my face, but I don't really smell much. I have a pool. I'm never in it. I wasn't in the pool on the boat either. I was in the hot tub, I will tell you. Yes, we saw the sunrise. Denise and I saw the sunrise. Well, we had to go get our um, chairs for the day. Apparently, people go get their chairs early in the morning and don't use them until whenever they feel like it. So their chair could be sitting there empty for hours. There's something wrong with that. I, you know, first of all, every guest should be able to have a chair on deck. If you don't have enough chairs, then you've overbooked because our you know, um, one of our excurs, I mean, our, you know, our ports got canceled. So everybody was on the boat. Well, we all want to go upstairs. Well, guess what? There's not enough chairs. That's not right. It's not. And you got people running up there saving chairs. Yeah. A lot, got a lot to, to talk about in that video, which I haven't done yet, which I probably will. Maybe, I don't know, end of the week, weekend, we'll see. But yeah, everybody should have a chair. Yep. And some people save the same chair in the same area every day. Oh yeah, now how I know that? Because they we were in their spot and she gave us a look. I'm like, seriously, you don't own that spot. People are not nice. So, okay, that was what the skincare lady said. And I definitely should schedule more facials. I don't. I haven't done one since December of 21. And here we are, March of 23. So she was saying like once a month. That's extreme, honestly. Nobody's budget could afford that. So I'm thinking maybe maybe once a quarter might be nice. I need to find a good place, though. Now, my friend Denise has a great one, but I'm not going to try. Denise is not traveling that far to Denise. She's closer to her. Yeah, it's in Hainesport. I'm not going to Hainesport. No, i got to find one here local. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the face, um, our local Facebook page and see who recommends one. So, yeah, because if I, I'm not going to drive and I'm not going to have Steve drive me. So it's like, what's the point? So, because I want to go often. <laughs> That's going to be my, my new treat, you know, because you have to take care of your skin, you know, weight loss. And this is one thing that the, um, the nutritionist trainer said, he said, if you're not eating enough calories, it's going to take your its toll on your body, your hair, and your skin. So he says, you ever see people that lose weight? He says they look old, 10 years older because they've lost weight too fast and they're not eating enough. You have to eat. There's a set amount of calories for a reason and or points. And when I hear people not eating their points, I keep saying to them, well, maybe they're eating enough zero point foods to make up for it because you could. You could, if you're only eating 16 points a day, you could be eating enough calorically with zero point foods you can but what if you're not you know what if you're eating a thousand calories 900 calories 1100 calories we should be eating 14 15 1600 calories and he really ran home because he's a trainer if you're working out and you're you know you need you're gaining any app that you have your Fitbit or your, you know, hooked up to, sees what you're doing. It knows what you're burning. It knows what your heart rate is. So it's giving you X amount, like well, you get, we get X amount of points. They get X amount of calories for a reason. You need to eat them. It's not nutritionally good for you not to. You're only doing yourself a disservice in the end because you're, 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 you're harming your body in the end. You are. You think you're being healthy, but guess what? You're not. So I'm being very cognizant. That's why I started tracking on the healthy app um because i like points i do like points i'm not gonna lie i like points it's easy um but what i like about healthy is it has secondary metric for macros and calories so i could double check making sure i'm eating enough so, i mean sometimes i think i eat too much at times but i don't know because i'm i you know i can go easy on the, i can go hard on those zero point certain zero point things like eggs yogurt so I couldn't do oats zero. Uh, so I need to be very cognizant of that. Um, so yeah, I'm still going to track Weight, Weight Watcher points because I may stay with Weight Watchers. So it's better for me to keep up the app for now. You know, um, we're, we're going to talk a little bit later about, you know, you know they, they double shot us with um, two different things. And, you know, I got over the, the medication thing because, you know, it's not going to affect me, you know, and that, I mean, do I think that 
they're doing something that they never, you know, preached about. There was always about food and portions and this and that. And I almost felt like they were compromising that stance by saying, hey, here's a drug. This might help you. But the thing, thing of it is, you don't have to take the drug. You know, you don't. You don't have to do it. You know, it's not like, oh, my God, you can't be on Weight unless you, you know, take the drugs. That, and, and they're technically, and this is a fine line, of course, not prescribing them. They just own the company that does. So, I mean, and as long as it doesn't interfere, like, of course, you know, who has meetings? I'm saying, like, well, I guess if you're doing Zooms, if you're on a Zoom call, we'll do Zooms because that's still there. And the meeting is inundated with people asking about that. Yeah, I do have a problem with that. This is not the time or place for those questions. And let's face it, these coaches are not shouldn't be answering those questions. They should say, that is, you know, you need to talk to your teledoctor about that. You know, they're not, shouldn't, you know, so if that interfringes with my meeting, then I have a problem with that because you're taking, you know, they only get a half an hour. So if they're going to infringe time with questions that really don't pertain to the program, really? Uh, yeah. So that's, so I'm kind of keep, I'm trying to keep an open mind. It's hard for me to keep an open mind. You know that, but I'm trying to, because, you know, this is something I can maintain for the rest of my life. See, that's when you find a program that you can consistently do and it doesn't stress you out, that's what you do. And that's what keeps your weight off. So for me to sit there and go like totally calories and macros, it's way too much work. But what I love with, with my with the healthy app is I just try, I'm pretending I'm tracking points. But it puts it all in for me. Again, it's doing it both, and I just have to track the points, and it shows me everything. So I kind of like that. Um, do we think Weight Watchers? Well, here's the thing, Weight Watchers. If you're going to be suggesting telehealth, maybe you should be doing macros and calories too. Just saying. Because those people need to know what they're eating. They do. So you may see a change. I don't know. You may see a change. Just, you know, my predictions. My prediction is going to be, no more lifetime members. Nah, they gave them they gave them a gift, and then they're going to kick their asses out. That's what's going to happen. Number one, number two, you may see that you may see calories and macros. I think they're going because they know people want it, and people are leaving because of it. So it really would, you know, kind of be like it's a be a second. They'll call it like like healthy does call it a secondary metric. Let's go check on our breakfast. Bailey is sleeping, so I don't want to disturb him. So, and I'm using my selfie stick because I think. It, I must have went off and I didn't hear it because I'm chatting too much. <gasps> oh, look at that. She is done. I'll show you. Look at that. Isn't that just stunning? <gasps> I cannot wait to eat this morning. Oh, my goodness. She used three points of deliciousness. All right, we're going to flip her out. cute dish with blue pot holder. Oh, look at that. Is she not a thing of beauty? She's stunning and I can't wait to dig in because I'm starving. There he is. Say hi everyone. Say thanks for prayers. Thanks for prayers. I'm feeling a little bit better. Yeah. Well, say hi. Say hi everybody. Say hi. We'll go Popeyes. <laughs> I tell you, he's missing for bones constantly. You want bones? You want a bones? Want bones? Yeah. He likes coming out on the deck. I think it's just nice, but nice out. Yeah, he wants to go in the grass into the field. Oh, I did see a rabbit earlier. Way too much bunny poop in the grass, though. That's why I take him for a walk. Too much. Rabbits leave too many presents. Right, Muffin? Yes. Yeah, he had a good morning. Good breakfast, good walk, lots of peeing. So, oh, there's birds out there. I always see the birds. I think I missed them. Birds out there. He don't like birds. <laughs> you don't like your birds, do you? No, I don't like birds. But I think we're on the mend. Right, you're on the mend. Say thanks for the prayers. They're greatly appreciated, even for a dog. <laughs> I 
This is hopefully going to be my mint farm because mint just comes right up here. I've given up. This is, you know, don't invest in one of these. They don't work. Unless you want to grow your own mint. That's something that survived was the mint. Nothing else did. So I think it's up. Oh, it might be it coming up over there. Pete's going to get excited. We got mint. Mint you can't even kill. It's like, it's going to be an apocalypse. There's going to be mints growing up on the earth. So <laughs> it survives everything. So yeah, but we, since we're big on mojitos here, we're just going to keep it as a mint stand. <laughs> What the heck, you know? Rather than throw it away, get use out of it. Mint's a good thing. Mint's a great thing. It's great in teas. It's great in water. So, yeah. Get out of here. All right. We're going to go in. Say yay. Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the prayers. Yay. Prayers for Bailey. <laughs> All right. We'll see him later, maybe. Getting ready to make lunch. I'm going to use one of these mini nons from Aldi. Four points on WW, I think 4.4 on healthy. 140 calories, four grams of protein. I'm warming it up in the toaster oven. I'm gonna put some G Hughes sauce and I have some leftover chicken. They're one point on WW, I think 1.8 on healthy. I'm also gonna top it with, like I said, the sweet chili from G Hughes. And I think I enjoyed this yesterday, so I might make a repeat. So turn it here. My chicken. Yeah, D, you need the damn gosh darn chicken. Some chicken that I just <laughs> roasted in the oven. I think he's feeling better, you think? I want to show you something. I want to share something with you. This is something I made last night <clears throat> from Trader Joe's. They have the gnocchi sorrentino. It's gnocchi with a little um, chunks, or I should say squares of tomato sauce. But what I do, this is left over. I add tuna and white beans to that, and I make it into a full meal. And three of us ate it, and we still have some left over. So it's really good. So if you're a Trader Joe's, get the gnocchi sorrentino. And you could add shrimp. You could add chicken. I added tuna, and you don't have to add the beans, but I like white beans. This is my thing. So let me grab my, I have my plate out, because I don't. I don't have my plate out, here it is. I'm also gonna share with you my, I got um, stuff in from Weight Watchers. I ordered some food, because it was on sale, really cheap and free shipping, so I ordered a few things and it came while I was away. So two tablespoons is zero points, I believe, but I think I only need one tablespoon. Because it's not. I love it. G Hughes, would you marry me? Because I think your stuff is fantastic. So just gonna spread that around. I love used a few tablespoons, the full table. Just give me a little bit of can you do that? And we're gonna put some chicken I just have this one has the little barbecue seasoning from Trader Joe's this one has the pickle seasoning so we'll do the barbecue one we'll do the smaller one put the barbecue on there just gonna slice it and just lay it on top now you could if you wanted heated it up I don't want to. And here's Bailey looking for some chicken I don't know this dog this dog is driving me you could put like you wanted jalapenos. I do have some pickled jalapenos in there. I'm just going to break up the pieces of chicken and just do this. Lunch should not be difficult. It should be stuff you have around and you just, and it doesn't have to be large. You don't need to have a full meal. Like this is just a, you know, a little mini naan with some chicken and some vegetables and some chips on the side. Don't complicate your meals. I think sometimes we think we have to have soup to nuts you know like when i was on the cruise i didn't go i think we only might have might have gotten a sit down lunch once maybe not a lot so we spent a lot of time like that's where i went and got the buffet at the buffet i got a lot of the salads they had a couscous salad that was delicious and i got a toss salad i put some grilled steak on there or some grilled chicken kept it really simple this one has a little bit of a, like a sinewy part did you hate that and then my butcher box chicken. You know, 
I, I can't go off on them again. I went on my last video. I'm like, yeah, it's just it's, the quality has gone way down. But the price has gone up, so yeah. Not buying from them anymore. Yeah, put that. I gotta throw that in the trash because it's. Billy said, I'll take it, Mom. Yeah, no, you won't. <laughs> dog. I'm going to grab from my little jardiner. There's a lot of little pieces. Oh, sorry about that. Like cucumbers and carrots, like this. I'm going to sprinkle those on top. It's a little briny vegetable. It's kind of like a pickled. Well, they are. They're pickled vegetables. I love it. I've pickled my vegetables before, you know. I've made pickled carrots. Yes, I did. You got that right. And they're really good. They taste like carrots. They taste like pickles. So if you're not a huge carrot fan, try pickling them. Go to an older, older video of mine. Pickled carrots. How I tried it was one of the kids at school. Remember the oh snap pickles? Well, she had oh snapped carrots. And she's like, Mrs. Mulrain, you need to try my carrots. They taste like pickles. I'm like, and most people be like, no, they're not taking food from a kid. I'm like, okay, I'll try one. So, there we go. Looks delightful. So, pickle brine. So, my lunch is done. That. And my... I love these. I love... Well, I love Funyuns, so yeah, I'm liking Pitos. They're 70 calories a bag. 2 grams of protein, 3.5 total fat, 0 sat fats, 8 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fiber. You know what? If you're not eating chips once in a while with your lunch, you're doing something wrong. you got to be able to fit this in one point. 70 calories. It's this, this makes life fun. This makes you feel like you're not on a diet. Just saying. So I'm going to go eat my lunch. And I'm going to come back and show you my lunch. Having my lunch and watching my premiere with you lovelies. This is how I'm spending my lunch time today. Hey, you know, we got the glam squad. This is what we do on Zoom. Please, please feel free to come any day and join us. All this information is in the Facebook group. Same thing goes I host on Wednesdays and Lori hosts many Tuesdays and Friday. snack today, a caramel rice cake and some American Dream Nut Butter, the Big Apple. This was sent to me by one of my lovelies. So sweet of her to do that. There's little, um, this is their, I, look, I do prefer their almond butter. I've had a few of their jars. And there's, you see all the little mixins in there, but I prefer their almond. I'm not a huge fan of the peanut butter or the cashew, but I do like the almond. So there's four points on Weight Watcher points and 4.3 on Better Balance for this snack. I have one tablespoon, so it's half a serving of peanut butter and my rice cake. So I'm going to go enjoy that. I just put dinner in the oven. We're having ham loaf. And I guess I get the potatoes on there too. I forgot about them. I've been doing tax stuff this afternoon, so I've been a little bit a little bit busy. <laughs> but about dinner. I'm like, oh yeah, it's 420. We better make dinner. So I better find the potatoes and get those. I'm just gonna make roasted potatoes and ham loaf. And I got the ham loaf from the Amish. We were up in Lancaster the day of the Valentine thing that we went, went to. We went to the, there's a meat store right down the road. So when you're in Lancaster, you get meat. But yeah, I was just adding up um, stuff that, you know, I've spent. And I was reading about the butcher box, how much I've money I've wasted on butcher box. I'm like going over the last later, I'm like, I waste a lot of money with them. Not anymore. Folks, he is done with that. I was like, it was like seven or eight hundred dollars. So I'm going to get my potatoes ready to go and we'll come back and we'll see what dinner looks like. All right, here's a little haul that I ordered a couple weeks ago before Weight Watchers is clearing out their stuff. So free shipping. I can't remember how much I had off, but I ordered just a few of my favorites. You do know I love these protein bars from them. They are the butterscotch. They're four points, 20 calories. No, 20 calories of protein, four points, 190 calories. I do enjoy them, so I did get another box of those. And I saw these, and I've never had them. These are the protein core muffins. 10 grams of protein, 3 grams of fiber, and three points. I thought these would be great if I made chili one day to have this little now. I don't know. I thought it sounded good. Or it could be a breakfast core muffin. I love Girl loves corn muffins. And you know, 
Got my pedos, my one point bag of pedos. I love these. So what the heck, when you get a deal, you get a deal. And I got a gross box of these. These are the ice chocolate puffs. I believe they're two points, yes. A bag, I think there's about 30 in there. So I love these. 60 calories, one gram of protein, but these are just such a great little sweet treat. And for two points, you can always have room for these. So I got a box of 30. I don't remember how much I spent, but I love the puffs. Um, all of them used to have them. I don't know. I've not seen them like there, like this anymore, but WW has them and I thought, get them before they're gone. I don't know. Are they going to still sell stuff at their meetings or online? I don't know. They act like they're not. I don't know. I guess they just do that to scare you. Oh, here's a clearance sale. Unless they're just going to change everything, you know. Then they're going to change the design when they get rid of all the stuff. But yeah, these are new and the rest are old favorites. So that's my little WW product haul for today. I wanted to share with you a book that I, I don't know if I showed you before. Oh, look who's here. Yes, there he is. Oh, there he is. Here's a in the front. Say hi, everyone. Say hi. Thanks for praying for me. I think I'm feeling on the bit better side. I had a real good day today. And I want to eat dinner. Yeah, that's what he's thinking. Okay. I got this at five below. Probably December, November. I got a, you're going to laugh, don't laugh, but I got a yoga mat. Because I wanted to start doing yoga. I feel like um, that might be good for me. Good for my back. But I, they had a couple cookbooks. I don't know what happened to the other one. It's over there. I got a TikTok cookbook. <laughs> but, you know, a cookbook for five bucks. You know, I'm right there. But this one I thought was really cool. And I took it with me to the cruise to read as I was sunning myself. It's called The Ultimate Superfoods. Probiotic, antioxidant, and immune boosting foods. And there's 10 of them. And it has recipes. And let's read what they are kale, blueberries, chickpeas, quinoa, eggs, which is like everything that I eat, honey, which I really don't drink, use a lot of honey, but you know, it's open, sweet potatoes. There he goes again. Oh, sorry, Bailey. I'm sorry I'm in your way, Bailey. Walnuts, green, Greek yogurt. I'm like, yeah. And the last thing, which is I'm a little bit skeptical on, is the coconut oil. I'm not a huge fan of coconut oil. I don't know. It says made primarily of saturated fat, a substance once avoided like the plague by health professionals. But coconut oil now deemed a healthy saturated fat containing medium chain fatty acids actually reduces hunger and promotes higher fat burn one or two you know yada 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 again like everything else it's good it's bad it's good it's bad it's good it's bad so i guess right now it's good like eggs eggs go back and forth as well then you notice um butter was not mentioned on here which is i'm not like i'm not surprised about that because this guy mentioned all these things that i went to that little um talk i went to he mentioned honey he mentioned walnuts potatoes yogurt eggs he even mentioned coconut oil chickpeas so maybe he may be on the something with the butter. like i said i don't even use butter why am i even talking about it? i don't even use butter but yeah i'm an olive oil girl on my bread but yeah so it has all recipes so i thought you know you might you know here's one chinese chopped salad with orange sesame dressing yum so i am absolutely interested in diving deep diving into this with some recipes so yeah, if you're, if you're, you have a five below, you should go check it out if you're interested in the ultimate superfoods. So we all could be superheroes together. She has a whole selection of like appetizers, soups, salads. Oh, what was this one? This was a, this one looked interesting. Let's see if I can find it. I'm uh, probably not going to find it. And you know, there's a picture for every recipe, which, you know, I love that. That to me is like, that's a person who knows cookbooks because how are we supposed to know what it looks like? You know, I've never made this before. This was a, I don't know what it was. It looked like some kind of green salad. I like green salads. Well, there's some kind of Italian wedding soup with balsamic blueberry and chicken meatballs. Let's put a spin on my mother's classic. She would roll over in her grave putting blueberries in her soup. But hey, maybe it's good, you know? Oh, egg drop soup, ham and white bean soup. 
there's a lot of fun things. So I thought this would be fun to, um, like I said, I got this back around Thanksgiving and just never looked at it. Chopped purple power salad. There's a lot of fun things in here. So if you're interested in, I could, you know, add these maybe once in a while to the meal prep. Or maybe on my um, vlog, I could make one. So, so that is it. We're going to, dinner is in the oven and I will show you my dinner when it comes out. Dinner tonight is 14 Better Balance Bites and 12 WW Points my potatoes, my ham loaf, and my green beans. I just looked it up in the app and found a recipe and just did it that way. So that's my dinner tonight. Good news is, you might think that's high, but I still have calories left. Yes, I do. So, you know, you just never know with these things. So I am going to enjoy my homemade Amish ham loaf, roasted potatoes with peppers and garlic, and my garlicky string beans for dinner tonight. Just finish up the live, so I thought I'd end the video here. It's eight o'clock. I'm done. I'm gonna go have, I think, half of a. I was gonna make grits loaf, but I don't have any grits. You guys talking about grits loaf? You had me hungry for grits loaf on the live, but I don't have any grits. Wah, wah, no grits loaf for D. So I am going to figure out breakfast tomorrow. I'm not worried about it right now. I'm gonna go up and have half a bear bell. That's what I decided on. They have the crunchies on the outside. The pumpkin. I have a few pumpkin left. I'm going to have half of one. And maybe a partake cookie. So, yeah. Need to eat a little bit more and get those calories up. I know. Pretty sad. You got to eat more. I like that. I like that. So, thank you for spending the day with me today. I appreciate it. It was fun hanging out. You got to see Bailey. I was saying get a picture for our thumbnail for him and I, I don't know he's he's sleeping now so I just gave he just had his they just gave him his medicine so he's up there down for the count he's been very active every day and then very beat at night so he's just making sure I don't leave <laughs> so and again thank you for all your well wishes and prayers for him I appreciate it he appreciates it you guys are the best and can I just say you guys were so sweet when you were like, we missed you, we missed you. Oh, that was just really nice to be missed. You know, you, you just, we, we spend so much time together, you just, I guess, take it for granted that, that people actually look for you. So it's kind of nice to hear you say that. I'm not going to lie. It was nice hearing you say that you missed me. So I thought it was really sweet. So I missed all of you too. I missed doing these. I missed hanging out and doing the lives and my routine. Spending eight days doing absolutely nothing is always a fun thing. But, you know... It's not realistic for me, you know. I, by Friday, I was like, "Yeah, I'm ready to go home." So, but we're back. We're back. We're back. So, I don't think there's going to be a food finds video tomorrow. Um, I'm pretty sure there's not going to be a food finds video. I'm not going to the store. Um, I'm thinking maybe f taking a foray, foray, <laughs> into maybe doing another healthy app tutorial. I'll see if I can, you know, do that. Maybe that'll help a few of you out. Um, I have an older one, but I think it might have changed since then. It's back when it was called I Track Bites. And it's, I think it's a couple of years old, um, but that's older. So I might think of trying something like that. We'll see. But thanks for spending the day with me. And uh, we had a nice little chit chat. We had some delicious food. Dinner was fantastic. Yeah. When you get, if you ever in Lancaster County, Go to where they sell meats and get a ham loaf mix. That's all I'm going to tell you. It's delicious. Ah, uh, just think about it. I can stick a taste of it. Is that good? Mm. Yes. So, if you enjoy these videos, don't forget to give them a thumbs up. And if you are new here, welcome. And if you've not yet hit that subscribe button, join us here. Join the party. Join the support team. We'd love to have you. So, don't forget to join our Facebook group, District East Crew. We are slaying our weight losses one pound at a time, and we are in our lose it 10 pound challenge. What does that mean? Well, I have a little printable. If you need one, it is in my Facebook group, or you can email, email me at dishwithd at yahoo.com, and I will send it to you. It's little things you can fill in. We're saying 10 pounds because we're breaking our weight loss down into smaller, little doable goals. When you hit 10 pounds, you'll say, hey, D, 
I hit 10 pounds and I'll say, okay, let's go for 15. There's no time limit because everybody loses differently. It's not fair to give a time limit because some people just can't do it. And why should they, you know, it, it works with your psyche when you, you know what I'm saying? So why make it, it's fair. We'll all do it on our own pace. So when you do it, you move to the next 15, the next five. It's going to be 10, five, it's going to be 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can you see where I'm going with this? So come join us. There's no need to join anything. Show up to the lives. Print out the printable. Be part of the Facebook group, excuse me. That's it. Pretty simple stuff. But the rewards are fantastic. So that's it. I will dish with you, not sure when, Definitely Saturday for way to meeting topic du jour. Uh, I believe I, somebody told me what the topic was. Something about, I think, a gain. <laughs> and who, well, I did get weighed. I will tell you this. I did get weighed on Monday morning. I wasn't going to, but I put that weight in for, um, since I didn't get weighed last week, I put that in for last week's weight. So when I get weighed Saturday, it'll show um, if I had a loss from Sunday to here. I do expect one because, yeah, I was swollen. <laughs> so maybe it wasn't fair to me to get weighed, but I thought just curious. I was I was up by like 5.8 pounds, I think, in two weeks, I think. So, or a week, week. It was a week. You know? You know. So we will see what happens on Saturday. I will let you know. Um, It's my last meeting, I think, or one of the last meetings in my workshop shop. They are moving to a smaller venue into a little, I think, a basement of some sorts. I don't know. I'll find out more on Saturday. I'll let you know. Again, I gave you the spiel. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to spend it with me. I definitely appreciate it. And I will dish with you another day.